Hey guys, it's uh, Timo time here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get freps. Now, you're going to need uTorrent to torrent it. So, you're going to come to this website, and all these links will be in the description, so you basically don't have to do any work. Just uh, do the downloads. So, you're going to want to get this, because this is what you need to torrent the actual file. So get this, it's really simple to get. Then you're going to want to come to the Pirate Bay. This will also be in the, in the description. So type in Fraps right here. Enter. Do not click any of these. Don't click this first one. You want to click SE first. Then you want to get this first one at top. Look at the numbers. The one with the highest is usually the best one. That's why more people use it. So you're going to want to click this one. You can read all of the information about it. You can read the comments if you want. This is the version. This is the one that I got. It's actually pretty good. So I'll, I'll have the link to this 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 uh torrent in particular uh, in the description. Or you could do it the way that I just did it, actually search it and then click the SE. I recommend you do it that way because maybe at the time that you're watching this video, it, there's a different version, there's a better version. So just do that to be safe, but I'll include this one if you just want this one. So you're going to click this magnet, top left. The I, This is telling me because I already have it. but uh, So you're going to, it'll pop up in your uTorrent thing. And if it, if it asks you what you would like to open it with, because it's the first time you're using uTorrent, but I'm assuming it isn't, um, you just click open it with uTorrent. You can browse it through your uh, computer and your downloads so after you get that it'll be right here you can close this if you want once it's done it'll just be right here it'll pop up say your torrent is finished you're gonna click it well I already have it so you're gonna click it it'll pop up in your downloads no or wherever you want it to I don't know but it'll be right there you're gonna click this It'll be right here, and right here, this one. If you hover over it, it'll have the EXE. That's how you know you're going to open it. So you're going to click it, and then it'll give you the option to install from there. It's very simple. There's no keys There's no keys that you have to put in. You don't have to search anything online, but it'll all be there. So it's pretty simple after that. I'll have all these links on the in the description, so don't worry about having to get to any of these websites. Although I'm assuming you've torrented before, if you're looking for the torrented way. But anyways, next I'd like to show you guys how you actually use it. Um, when you come here, these things are very self -ex self explanatory. Well, let's start for apps minimized, for apps window always on top. Uh, run fraps when Windows starts. Monitor arrow, desktop, DWM, minimize to system tray only. Really, the only ones you need to have on, unless you you want to like, if you click this, then when I mean, if you click this, then uh, fraps is always going to be minimized. If uh, but I would don't recommend doing that. It's much easier just doing it this way. So the ones that I basically have on right now, I have this one on because this one allows you to record everything that's happening on your screen. If you don't have it on, it's only going to be in certain windows that that you open. It's only going to be like, let's say you open Minecraft. So if I were to open Minecraft, it'll the numbers will be right here instead of up here in this the desktop corner so it'll only record what's happening in the minecraft box window um so yeah these this one is basically for like how to videos that's why i have it on right now you take that off it's only going to show whatever's happening in the game run for apps when it starts very self-explanatory start for apps minimized also very self-explanatory next the fps um this stuff here just 
really leave it. You don't really need to do anything. I left it. The overlay corner. This shows like it just changes the corners that the numbers are in. It, it shows like the, it's stuff for the FPS. Uh, go to the movies, and uh, if you go to movies, this is where you actually can do stuff. Uh, set it to 30 FPS. You don't want it to lag, so just that's a good amount. Leave it at 30 FPS. That's fine. And this is your hotkey. So as soon as you start fraps, if you open it, these numbers up here are gonna be yellow. That's how you know it's not recording. My hotkey is this one. I, I mean, I could set it to nine. I could set it to F5. I could set it to any number, any key. So whenever you click that one, whenever you click that key, those numbers will turn red. That's how you know it's starting to record. And once you want to finish recording, you just click that key again, and it'll turn the numbers will turn turn back to yellow. Over here, you have your uh, the sound capture settings. So I want it to be capturing the stereo sound, and right here, my microphone, the high definition audio device. So it's going to capture all of that. If I don't want it to, then I'll just uncheck this box because my microphone is an external input. And then all this other stuff is pretty self-explanatory, and it's up to you to have screenshots. Obviously, screenshots. I mean, we all know what screenshots are. So yeah, that's how you use Fraps. It's a uh, it's a really good tool, especially if you're a gamer. It's just a good thing to have. And if you want to make how-to videos, it's pretty pretty cool. So all uh all the links will be in the description of this video. So, uh, subscribe, and I'll keep making more videos, or, you know, you can message me, and if you have anything that you'd like me to also, anything else that you'd like me to show how to do.